Hi, I'm Emma, and welcome to my channel. This is the start of a series of videos on the basics of programming a robot using Java for First Tech Challenge, or FTC. Before we dive into the code, we really need to know what it is we're programming. In FTC, we run our code on this. It's a control hub from Rev Robotics. This is the brain of the robot. What you're looking at here is called a pushbot. There are guides to build something like this in most of the popular robot kits, like Tetrix, Rev, or Gobilda. I'll put links to a few of them in the description. This robot is made from Tetrix parts. From a programming perspective, the important bits about a pushbot is that it has a control hub, two motors, and a battery to power everything. In addition to the control hub, you'll also need a Rev Robotics driver hub and at least one controller. I'm using a Logitech controller here, but it's possible to use Xbox 360 or PS4 controllers. Once you've downloaded a program to the control hub, the driver hub is used to start programs and operate the robot. You can choose three different ways to program the robot. Blocks, Onbot Java, or Android Studio. To use blocks to program the robot, you would connect to the robot with your computer in a web browser. In the web browser, you can drag and drop shapes into place to build a program. For people that are familiar with Scratch, this can be an easy way to get started. For this video series, though, we're going to focus on Java. One helpful tip about blocks, though, is that all of the blocks are actually building a Java program in the background. If you're having trouble figuring out how to write a particular thing in Java, but you know how to do it with blocks, you can build it there and see what Java code it writes. Just be warned that if you change the underlying Java code, you usually can't load that program back into blocks. There is also a way to program the robot using a Java editor that is running directly on the robot using just a web browser. It's called Onbot Java. This is the advantage that it takes less time to load code changes when using Onbot Java. The disadvantage is that the editor in the web browser can't provide as much help when coding, so you would need to know exactly what to type. The system we will be using in this video series is Android Studio. Instead of programming in a web browser, you'll be using an integrated development environment installed on your computer. In the next video, we'll go through how to get it all set up. See you there!